All right, this one's packed. China just put a humanoid robot on police patrol. X Peng's android wowed crowds at Auto Shanghai with freakishly human like moves. And Abacus just gave its deep agent a serious upgrade with a new pro tier that lets you build entire apps and deploy websites in one go. Meanwhile, Tesla's scaling up Optimus production, Cherry's using AI robots as sales staff that talk, walk, and even gesture like people. A 20 foot AI robot is about to take over construction sites. Meta launched an AI assistant that follows you across all devices. And Huawei's latest chip might finally be a real threat to NVIDIA. Let's get into it. Let's start on the streets of Shenzhen, where Engine AI's PM01 just became China's first humanoid police sidekick. The little guy stands 1.38 meters tall, weighs 40 kilograms, and wears the same high visibility vest as its human partners. What makes PM01 pop is agility. A 320 degree waist rotation lets it scan crowds without shuffling its feet, and last month it pulled off a fully landed front flip that went viral on Chinese social media. Under the plastic shell sit industrial grade actuators, a vision stack that can identify faces and license plates, plus microphones tuned for voice commands in Mandarin and Cantonese. Engine AI is selling business and education versions for 88,000 yuan, about $12,000. So surprisingly, it's cheaper than Unitree's sportier G1. For now, the PM01 is greeting tourists and keeping an eye on lost kids, but local police say it can also forward anything suspicious straight to the command center in real time. The patrol project is part of a broader Chinese push to sprinkle robots into public safety jobs. Late last year, officials tested the RTG, a spherical bot that cruises on land or water at 35 kilometers an hour and can survive a four-ton impact. Deep Robotics, meanwhile, has its wheel-legged Lynx scrambling upstairs with thermal cameras to spot fires before firefighters even suit up. PM01 is the first to bring a truly humanoid form factor to that mix, and at 12 grand a unit, it's budget-friendly enough that a city could field an entire squad without breaking the treasury. While the pint-sized Robocop keeps things civil down south, Auto Shanghai 2025 turned into a full-blown robot fashion show up north. The undisputed star was Xpeng's Humanoid Iron, a 5'8", 154-pound android designed to blur the line between self-driving cars and service robots. Engineers stuffed 60 joints into its frame for a total of 200 degrees of freedom. The hands alone have 22, so Iron can thread a needle or tap a touchscreen without that stiff marionette look most bots still suffer from. All that motion is driven by Xpeng's custom Turing AI chip, capable of 3,000 trillion operations per second, which is downright server class. Even cooler, Iron runs the exact same cockpit AI that guides Xpeng's electric vehicles, so your future sedan and your future housekeeper could literally share a brain. Xpeng calls this its AI tech tree, a roadmap where EVs, humanoids, and even flying taxis operate on a common software spine. In the demo, Iron Fist bumped audience members, answered questions in natural Mandarin, and lifted a delicate porcelain cup without cracking it. Subtle, but a big deal in the world of robotic manipulation. All right, let's hit pause on hardware and peek inside the control room, because Abacus AI just upgraded its chat LLM deep agent to a pro tier, and it quietly changes what a single person can automate. For an extra 10 bucks, you can now drop a single line set up a customer database, pull sales data from my drive, build a live dashboard at datamysite.com, and DM finance when revenue dips, and watch the whole pipeline appear while your coffee is still hot. Deep Agent spawns a fresh Postgres instance, writes the schema from your plain English description, loads every CSV it finds in the target folder, and keeps that table synced in the background. In the same breath, it claims an unused subdomain, issues an SSL cert, deploys a polished web front end, and wires real-time charts straight into Slack so your team sees the numbers shift as they happen. Need eye-catching graphics for the exec report? Just describe the vibe. Sleek EV market overview, muted blues, and the built-in image generator drops custom art right into the document that's already taking shape because the pro tier stacks on top of the original browser, Gmail, Jira, and slide deck skills, you can chain tasks like scrape competitor pricing, refresh the database, update the dashboard, mail the deck in a single prompt. What used to be a weekend of juggling APIs, SQL, and front-end tweaks now feels like ordering takeout. 
You ask, it shows up, and you get the credit. The timing for super capable software agents could not be better because the humanoid arms race is heating up fast. Over on X, Elon Musk posted a new clip of Tesla's optimist walking with a gait that finally looks human instead of, I just stepped on a Lego. Musk says, Gigafactory Texas will crank out 10,000 Optimus units by December 25 and predicts a long-term future where robots outnumber people, maybe two to one, maybe 10 to one. Each Optimus borrows Tesla's EV DNA, battery modules from Model Y, drive motors scaled down from Plaid, and the same FSD computer for perception. The idea is simple. If you can mass produce cars, you can mass produce androids. Not to be outdone, fellow Chinese car maker Cherry is already staffing its Malaysian flagship showrooms with its own bot, a MOGA, that's artificial intelligence with multi-objective genetic algorithm, if you're wondering. A MOGA wears a silicone face and long blonde hair to soften the uncanny valley vibe, but under the cosplay it packs 41 degrees of freedom, including 12 per hand, and hustles around at a full meter per second. A five-way sensor matrix enables centimeter level obstacle avoidance. And thanks to DeepSeek models, the robot chats in 10 languages, pitching car features without the high-pressure sales tactics humans sometimes bring. Cherry calls it a human-like motion library, and judging from the videos, the arm gestures really do look natural. Now, shift your gaze from the showroom floor to the construction site, because California-based RIC Robotics thinks bigger. Literally, its upcoming Xyrex robot will stand 20 feet tall, towering over any foreman, with beefy arms capable of welding, carpentry, and large format 3D concrete printing. The prototype is scheduled for early 2026, and RIC claims it will address two huge pain points. The US faces a shortfall of roughly 439,000 skilled construction workers next year, and the industry logged 1,075 fatal injuries in 2023, the most of any sector. Xyrex uses LiDAR and vision language action models to compare real-time sensor data with BIM blueprints, minimizing mistakes while keeping humans out of the danger zone. Price? Under a million to buy or under 20,000 a month to lease, roughly the same as hiring a small crew. All of these robots still need serious compute, and Meta thinks the smartest place to deploy that compute is in your pocket. The company just launched a standalone Meta AI app built on Llama 4. Open it and you'll see a Discover feed, a kind of prompt TikTok, where users share clever use cases you can remix, flip on voice mode, and you get a glimpse of full duplex speech tech. The assistant speaks and listens at the same time, so the conversation flows more like a phone call than a series of walkie-talkie bursts. For now, that demo is limited to the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, but Meta plans to roll it out wider. The app ties into Ray-Ban Meta Glasses and the Meta AI website, meaning you can start asking a question on your glasses, continue on your phone, and finish at your desk. It also pilots a rich document editor that can generate PDF reports full of text and image sections or analyze documents you import. And yes, it remembers personal details, like that you're into Japanese city pop, so answers feel less like a search engine and more like an informed friend. Speaking of raw compute, Huawei just fired a pretty loud shot across NVIDIA's bow. Word out of Shenzhen is that its next-gen Ascend 910D accelerator, think of it as the fourth iteration after the 910, 910B, and 910C, is already on the lab benches, and engineering samples should roll out in late May. The goal, according to people briefed on the silicone, is straightforward. Match or beat NVIDIA's H100 on the one metric everyone cares about, training throughput for giant language models. For context, an H100 tops out around 4.9 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth and roughly one petaflop of FP16 compute, which is why the big cloud providers hoard them. Huawei's current 910C hits about 800 petaflops INT8, or around 400 petaflops FP16, with a power envelope that slots into standard 700 watt data center racks. And the company claims the 910D will push those numbers even higher while tightening energy efficiency. If that happens, the impact inside China will be sizable. NVIDIA's H100 and the new B200 are both on Washington's restricted list, a policy that began in 2022 when the US classified top-end AI GPUs as dual-use tech. 
That cutoff left Chinese LLM teams scrambling for supply, paying gray market premiums, or downclocking to older A100 stock. The HomeGrow 910D that can drop into existing PCIe or Huawei's Kunpeng servers would instantly relieve that bottleneck and keep local model training on shore. There's also a bigger backstory. Huawei has spent six years on the US entity list, yet it keeps finding ways around roadblocks. In 2023, it stunned analysts by shipping the Mat 60 Pro phone powered by a fully domestic 7 nanometer Kirin chip fabbed at SMIC. The Ascend line follows the same playbook. Lean on China's bleeding edge lithography, stack massive on-chip SRAM to offset slightly older process nodes, and optimize the software stack through its CAN compiler so PyTorch and MindSpore can squeeze every Terra operation. Shipments of the 910C are already slated to hit Chinese hyperscalers next month, giving developers a stepping stone until the 910D ramps production. In short, Huawei isn't just catching up to Nvidia, it's positioning itself as the safety valve for China's entire AI ecosystem. See the pattern? Street-level patrol bots like PM01 scoop up data, Huawei's Ascend 910D chews it, and agents such as Deep Agent turn the output into dashboards you can actually use. Out on the frontier, Iron, Amoga, Optimus, and the towering Xyrex keep stretching the definition of robot, while Meta's new assistant follows you from phone to desktop to smart glasses, always in sync. So when you glimpse a vest-clad bot waving at tourists or read about a six-meter mech printing a supermarket, remember you got the timeline here first. And if Deep Agent pings Slack at 3 a.m. to say it shipped your project, relax. That's just tomorrow showing up early. Before you click away, tell me this. When a humanoid can build your house, run your showroom, and write your app, do we still call you the boss? Or just the carbon-based intern? Drop your take in the comments. I'm expecting fireworks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.